I am now introducing Insane Ian. Achievement unlocked! Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of the Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insaney, and I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician. Because that's what I am, and that's what I do, and that's what this is, and that's why you're here, and that's why this week we are reacting to Dead Ahead, the Dredge song by The Stupendium. If this is your first time joining us, yes, I am a comedy musician, and I react exclusively to comedy music, because that's where my field of expertise lies. What that means to you is that I'm going to pause the video. Kind of a lot, actually. This way I'm not laughing and missing jokes and missing out any lines in the lyrics or anything, and this way I can discuss and analyze uh, how the video works in tandem with the lyrics, how they help uh, emphasize and... Uh, elevate the lyrics, and sometimes uh, that means explaining jokes, because that's always fun for people, and sometimes that means just sitting back and laughing my damn head off, because it's a crapshoot, whatever you're going to get, but I think it's a good time either way. If you like that sort of thing, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos, and if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, and all sorts of other cool perks. Anyway, all of that out of the way, let us dive into today's video. The Stupendium, uh, this song has been out by them for, oh, about a month or so now, actually. Um, uh, I had planned on reacting to this exclusively on Patreon, up until Stupendium themselves told me that it is... A comedy song. Well, it has comedic moments in it, we'll say. Uh, not flat-out comedy, but it, is, it does have jokes in the lyrics. So uh, they said just react to it and decide whether or not you'll put it on the main channel or put it on Patreon exclusive. So that's why this has an intro on it, uh, just in case uh, it makes it to the main channel or it goes straight to my Patreon. Um, we'll find out, won't we? Um, my, my wife has played this game, played it and beat it, loves this game. Um, I have not played it at all. I've seen a little bit of her playing it, but that is the extent of my knowledge of Dredge. So, let's see how well I do. <laughs> and now your shipping forecast in these two Indian channels. Subscriptions high, water levels and rising. New content visibility. New content visibility. Oh, oh, look at that. We've gone, we've gone not just mustache and mutton chops, but full uh, Gorton's Fisherman beard and hat. Trust the Gorton's Fisherman. That's what the ads tell me, anyway. They make fish, frozen fish food. Not food for fish, but fish that is food. Well, whatever, man. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Um, so we know Stupendium likes to make elaborate sets. I know we haven't even gotten into the song proper yet, and I'm sorry that I'm already pausing. Deal with it. Um, we know Stupendium likes the, the production value and likes to make elaborate sets. Uh, for some reason, just looking at that boat gently swaying on the on the waves I feel like it it might be repurposed is that like part of the train from the Choo Choo Charles song video that they did with uh, Dan Bull I feel like it is I don't know why just something about it uh, makes me feel like it is it doesn't matter we're gonna we're gonna move forward Cast off from the docks on the boundless sea There's shops to be stocked, there are mouths to feed Every town needs Neptune's bounties They're bringing them aground when it's down to me Every town needs Neptune's bounties That's a great line Just, just a, just a fun little, little rhyme scheme in there That's just great Also, uh, this voice that they're using for this one Slightly piratish, slightly not. Just very seaworthy. Where the flounders bream crabs, cotton, mackerel, and compete, man, rod and tackle. 
Found a bar of gold. Let's rewind it a little here. There's shops to be shocked. There are mouths to feed. Every town needs Neptune's bounties. They're bringing them aground when it's down to me. For the and the boat is called Neptune's Bounty. I just, just saw it beyond the lyrics on the bottom of the screen. The ship itself is called Neptune's Bounty. I don't know if that's what it's called in the game. Possibly. Could be. <laughs> don't know. Those are all types of fish. Grouped up with the groupers. That's funny, because grouper is a type of fish. And the bass and the mackerel and all that fun fish stuff. Uh, fish puns. There's going to be fish puns. I can tell. It's just, oh wait, it's a stupendium song on a theme of nautical things. Puns. Puns away. That's, that's what I feel we're in store for. Cool. It's a lot of soul searching when you're searching for a soul. Yes, fish puns. Soul is a type of fish. So soul, your inner soul, S O U L, soul searching. You you get to do a lot of soul searching when you're out on the high seas, searching for soul, S O L E, a type of fish. F fish. I don't want to pause on every line, but but when puns are this fast and furious, it, it, it makes me have to take a toll. A toll, another type of fish. It's fish puns. Fish. Well, you want to rest to get a fishy there upon a little dizzy when the boat comes in. It's a mystery, but I'm pretty sure I've been here for an epic, so I can never let he broke something. <laughs> oh yes, that's the thing about dredge. There are uh, things other than fish in the deep. Uh, to put it mildly, uh, things with more tentacles, and I don't mean octopi or squids, I think something more ancient one and Cthulian. Uh, yeah. I'll take tea with a spot of eight, please, some chips, baked beans, and a blob of HP. <laughs> All right, so uh, in his in in the character's tackle box, uh, in Stupendium's tackle box, their tackle box, they have an entire meal and uh, a, a a blob of HP, meaning the brown sauce that they have over there in the UK. Uh, HP sauce. Uh, don't have it here in the US, um, but I recognize it as a a condiment that they use a lot over there. With a spot of ache, please. H A K E, I'm guessing, might be another fish. No, wait a second. There's something written on the paper in there. Missing baby found in something. Is that one of the newspapers from Neath? The video they did for the Mark of the Mask of the Rose? Or Mark of the Rose? Whatever that, that Fallen London song was. Uh I feel like I feel like that newspaper might be from that. I don't know why. Just I prayer for prayer. I mm, words are gone for some reason today, so that's gonna make this all sorts of fun, so I kept pausing before this line and not registering the line. Love, craft, and skill. HP Lovecraft. Blob of HP. Lovecraft and skill. HP Lovecraft is the author, the problematic author, who created Cthulhu and the the ancient ones, the uh, the several. Uh, psychological horror stories involving giant uh, Cthulian type monsters. I 
I just use the word to describe the word. Cthulhu itself is the Cthulian monster. Uh, you know, uh, with the, the tentacles and the mind flaying and the instant insanity and all that happy, fun stuff. Um, so yes, a blob of HP, Lovecraft and skill. HP Lovecraft. There's Lovecraftian, Cthulian type horror elements in Dredge beyond just the fishing for things. Um, so that's where all of that comes through. I, I got there eventually. I just kept missing it the first two times I, I ran past it. Sorry. Music puns, too. I ain't much of a singer, but I'm great with catchy hooks. Fishermen use hooks to catch fish. I shouldn't have to explain that, but I do, because that's apparently what I do on this show. Great. Got a, got a bit of a warmer sweater on now, a warmer jumper, if you will. Uh, it's a sea shanty. I dig it. Flotsam and jetsam. Uh, debris and detritus that you uh, loose from a ship, basically, I guess. It's kind of like the really, really... A dumbed down definition of that, I guess, because I don't really know what it is, but I'm pretending I do. Can you fathom what the fathoms hide? Yeah, so the fathoms, uh, the way you go underwater is measured in fathoms, and fathoming something, meaning can you understand it? Double entendre puns all the earmarks of a stupendium song. Yes, this is uh, a comedy song uh, because it is full of uh, the amazing wordplay that we always get from stupendium. Networking, working a net to catch fish. And online, the fishing line on a fishing pole that they held up in that shot. Puns. So many puns. Your fate is less certain with an ominous shrine. I, I think there are shrines in the game that you have to go up to that are kind of ominous. Um, making things, uh, you know, your fate uncertain because they're in some of the deeper water areas where the spooky, scary things lurk and can wreck your boat. That's just so much great rhymes going through here just on the 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 en rhyme here uh just and it, and it keeps going even past beyond where i suppose but i was just remarking uh how lovely it was seeing eating bleeding cleaning semen evening Feeling. Wow. Just super fun. Also, hey, nice effect of the lightning there. That's, uh, let's just go back a little bit just to check all that out again. I was just admiring the rhyme scheme more than the lyrics there for that moment just because I could and felt like it and I did. <laughs> Is that one of the tops from uh, the toy box from the Poppy Playtime video? They keep pulling out other props from other Stupendium videos. There was the Bar of Gold, which is that from 
Fiend Like Me, the uh, the Evil Genius 2 song. Uh, there was a, a bowl type thing that I did not recognize. A mug, which may have been from Neath, because uh, it came up just before the line Neath the, neath the sh waves or Neath the shore or whatever, the, Neath the water, whatever the line was, that you said the word Neath. Uh, so I think that mug may have been from that. And this is from Toy Box, I, I'm pretty sure. Um, so I should be paying more attention to what they're pulling up from the Briny Deep because it's a lot of reused props, it seems to me. Maybe. I'm gonna find out. I know I'm gonna find out after I, I post this video because somebody in the comments will tell me, if not Stupendium themselves. So, hooray for that. Uh, I get to look forward for future Ian to find out what current Ian, or for you, past Ian, uh, is learning now about this. Whoa! Shifting infinite eyes, yeah, something scary. Wow, that transition was so cool. Um, the lightning strikes and then it's raining and the lightning struck, the shot remained the same, but the costume changed. The sweater had gone on before because uh, it was getting a little colder and now the raincoat and hat, the slicker, if you will, uh, to make them fully into the Gordon's Fisherman. Uh, the typical red, uh, red, yellow outfit of a fisherman, um, especially on the high seas with lots of rain, uh, is now complete and just appeared in that lightning strike shot. Excellent transition, really, really dug that. Really good. Obsidian, meaning very dark, very black. Uh, the sky is black, or is it just the depths below mirrored in the sky? Because the, there's no light underwater, so it's dark there. Is it mirrored in the sky now? Is the obsidian that I'm seeing all around mirrored from below? Great line. <laughs> Bloke who can't keep track of real isn't a lot for isn't a lot of use for fishing. Real meaning the the real, the tangible, the what you can see in front of you, what is real, R E A L. But also real, R E E L meaning the reel on a fishing line when you reel a fish in you know that's it's called reeling in a fish the reel if you don't if you have no grasp of the reel you aren't much use for fishing if you let go of that reel it goes into the water and you've lost your fish and you can't be fishing with it double you know double meaning stuff kind of punny but double meaning i'm not making the noise again i almost did and just <laughs> decided to do that one instead Oh, that fish has too many eyes. Um, more more eyes than Blinky from The Simpsons does, but Blinky is like that because it's the fish from the, the waters of the nuclear power plant in Springfield. That one is is Lovecraftian. <laughs> We've uh, released the Kraken or something. In your wake, the when a boat cuts through the water, it leaves a wake in your path behind you. That's what leaves in our wake means generally, but the etymology comes from actual boats. Um, just so much imagery coming up from these lyrics. Uh, just just a lot to take in. Um, crescendent, meaning reaching the crescendo, um, chimes the yen of Siren's call. I don't know what a yen is. So this line is lost on me a little. Um, but, you know, chiming a siren's call, the sirens 
uh, sang uh, fishermen and, and boat travelers to their doom. The Siren's Call was them singing them to aground themselves on rocks and crash. So I can kind of get the gist of it, of this crescendo leading to his doom, uh, the fisherman. Um, so, yeah. As waves and senses break. So the waves breaking, meaning they're crashing against the ship, but your senses breaking, meaning you're losing your sanity. Good, good stuff. Ow. Something in my pocket shifted and stabbed me. Fun. Oh, a beaten heart relentless scribe to tendril strike the hull And each apart to send and chimes the end of Siren's Call Each silent parts and spoken names as waves that set his break As rudder carves an open vein left gaping in our As rudder carves an open vein The rudder on the back of the ship is what steers the ship um, So you're cutting your way through the waves with the rudder Carving an open vein as if the water itself were blood and it's cutting a vein open to, you know, leave the, leave the wound gaping in their wake. The wake of the boat, cutting through with the rudder. It's, it's visual. It's a very visual language here, what they're describing. <laughs> yeah, I chose the right point to pause there. Uh, I fear what the ocean takes. Wow. That's, uh... There's so much good stuff in here. Break, as cards and open vein left gaping in our wake. No tokens raised from soaking graves may yet a fortune make. I fear for what the ocean claims in place of what we take. I fear for what the ocean claims in place of what we take. So... For a fisherman, that's... That's horrifying, right? You're taking so many creatures from the sea and the ocean is now seeming as though it's going to be claiming you back or claiming something back to replace what you've taken. That's what this line means, you know. You know, I, I fear for what the ocean claims uh, to replace and what we take, you know. But uh, taking fish, it's going to pull me under now. I'm going to be what's living in the ocean, or not living long probably, because I'm not somebody who can breathe in water. Um, the fisherman meaning that, of course. Uh, so, yeah, all of that uh, being what it is, let's not drown. And now we're going to have uh, interesting fishies singing, I feel. Because that I paused it right before we saw that, and that's going to be... I'm looking forward to it, so I'm going to hit the button. Little plane. Don't know what that one's from. Uh, you know what? You know what? Knowing stupendium, it's not the same kind of plane, but a plane crashing into the water could just be a Bioshock reference. Could be. Not the same kind of plane, though. That's a biplane, and Jack, in the beginning of the first Bioshock, is on a, a commercial airliner. Not the same kind of plane. Um, love, love the singing fish already knew I was going to. I'm a little manic in this episode. Has anybody noticed that? I don't know why. Really no idea why. I just suddenly, that's how it's coming out of me. You get to watch it, and that's fun for everyone. Hopefully. Three-headed fish. The one thing with the... the, the one on the very... with the, the tongue that is is got the suckers from a tentacle on it. That one's that one's the most disturbing. I mean there's one with some awful teethy horrors on the other side, but the tentacle suction cup tongue is New Sea Paralysis Demon Unlocked. Great, thanks. I think that console is also the same from the Choo Choo Charles song. Why can't I think of the name of the song? But that one. Hard to port, hard to stir, not. 
Okay, hard to port and hard to stern, meaning uh, hard left, hard right. Uh, I forget which one is which. I forget if port is left and stern is right or other way around. Matters not. Generally, matters not is N-O-T, as in it doesn't matter. It matters not. Matters not in the lyrics was spelled N-O-U-G-H-T. Not, as in nautical, as in fish, as in... Uh, boating, uh, or 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 nautilus possibly, uh, or just uh, or or knots, uh, which is uh, usually the speed of a boat. Knots, eighty knots. Um, uh, you know that's how fast the boat is going on the water is eighty knots or sixty knots or twenty knots or whatever. Maybe that's how. Maybe that's the word that I'm thinking of. N o u g h t s think that might be it. But regardless, it wasn't N-O-T. In the lyrics, it was something more, meaning it's a double meaning word again. Ha ha. And we finally get the uh, title of the song in the lyrics, uh, something that uh, Stupendium doesn't often get to. Sometimes the, the title of the song is never in the lyrics. Um, and uh, I apparently uh, enjoy pointing that out, and Stupendium apparently likes titling songs like that to see if I notice that. They've actually said that in a tweet before, <laughs> so cool that these fish just... The blinking. The blinking is is cool and gross. Neath tides, that's what the line was with the neath, yeah. Okay. The, the little uh, light under the water, it's one of those fish with the little giant lamp light that hangs out in front of their head. Those things are horrifying anyway. Seriously, the, the water is like another alien planet. There's so much under there that we don't understand and don't get and don't see naturally. And if the, for the deeper you go, there's too much pressure for most people can't go. And that's why they use ships to go underwater. And I'm getting off on a tangent and I don't care. Um, but that's, you know, a lot of the things down there are just kind of alien to us. And that, that's kind of fascinating in a way to realize that there's this whole other world in the water on the same planet that we're on that has, like, uncharted... Uh, beneath the surface, beneath the surface. Wow, that was a tongue stumble. Uh, you ever forget to pay your mouth bill? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it just there's just so much under there that is just so fascinating that we do not know or do not recognize or do not even like comprehend what is out there, and that's fascinating to me. Okay, the, the Eiffel Tower there, I believe, is also from the, uh, the, the Evil Genius 2 song, because uh, the villain of that song shrank a lot of things. So I think that was from one of the miniaturized uh, things. It's good stuff. Yeah, that's one of those fish I was talking about. Wow. Just, it just, it went from, like, a shanty to a dirge, you know? It, it's so good. Yeah, there it is. Just a big one. Just like one of the fish I described, the ones with the light on the little end of it, only friggin' giant. Awesome. Well, blow me down! <laughs> One million subscribers! Truth be told, oh, yeah. this old milestone came around to my quicker than I anticipated off the back of my last video. So all my special content to mark the occasion ain't quite out of dry dock yet. But stay tuned in the new year, we got some special stuff lined up for you. So yeah, uh, Stupendium. They hit 1 million subscribers. Congratulations to them again. I think I, I said that at the end of the last reaction I did, that they had hit it by the time I had seen the video. 
Uh, and by the time this came out, between those two videos, which was barely a month between, uh, they had hit the, the, the thing. So that's fantastic, and apparently we have something to celebrate. It's a video that's going to be celebrating that coming out at some point this year. Uh, uh, so hopefully soonish, but we understand that Stupendium is busy, so we're not rushing them, obviously. But uh, it's always worth it to wait for a Stupendium video. In the meanwhile, thanks for listening, and to me marvellous patrons. Check the playlist for a whole heap of help on every other shanties, and be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bleeding bell. Oh, uh, and there's a Dan Bull song, I'm Heading Out of My Mind, the creepiest rap she shanty, she shanty. I always say she shanty, and that's not correct. Um, I don't know if that song is, is based on Dredge or not, but that one's linked there. Uh, of course, if you want to see this uh, song without me yammering all over it, link is in the description. Thanks to all of you for supporting this little boat over the years. Now I best get me skates on. Skate! Ha ha! It's only a blinking fish pun. Oh, I do make so laugh. Skate, being a fish pun, it's a, it's a type of fish I'm not familiar with. But uh, yeah, that was excellent. Uh, wow, really enjoyed that one. Hopefully you did, too. If you did, please uh, go show Stupendium some love. Like I said, original link for this video is in the description. Like that one. But, of course, come back here, like, share, comment, subscribe this video. And if you do want to help the channel out like these fine folks over here in the credits do, you can consider joining me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my com comedy and music early, and all sorts of other perks. Anyway, that's all for this week. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. Holmes, bird friend, big bird, Melba toast, tangle, gusty boy, bird man. Tulips, Todd, Turok, Tuscany, Tucson, Captain Flappy, that chicken, Dustin Hoffman.